out to chewing the cud. We're back with the show that was once described as the one show's inbred cousin twice removed, bringing you your weekly rundown of all things showbiz, frivolous stories from the internet, and of course, the segment of the show that has been known to make grown men ugly cry. It's our life lesson. But before we jump on the laughter bus and begin our journey down Silly Street, it's time to meet the man who's punched more tickets than I've had hot dinners. It's my fellow conductor, Mike. Ding, ding all aboard, I believe they say. Upstairs or downstairs? Everyone all, all, all in. All in? All in. Nice. Ooh, classic. I've been finagling around the dark recesses, poking every nook, but not touching the crannies, to find you things from the internet, including a story about a cup of tea. Mm. And I have some hot showbiz news, including a story about a celebrity's hair care secrets. Mm. Upstairs hair, not down below. Oh, okay. You can always press your face against the window and peer deep into our living rooms or have a look on social media. We are The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us do this show as a podcast or watch us on YouTube, have a search for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. Go on, treat yourself. And if you've interacted with us on social media, then have a look. You may see your name going on screen right now. So, Mike, after suffering from Kako Kahapanafophobia, while Kinefantum kaleidoscopes cause a kiffling over someone's kakadrosis, I thought you should know that Miss Puggy Wuggy has a square cut punt. Not a punt cut square, just a square cut punt. Cut blunt in the front, it's round in the stem and blunt in the front. Miss Puggy Wuggy has a square cut punt, cut blunt in the front for a stunt. What a c And on that bombshell, I want to know, do you leave at least the toilet seat up? No, I prefer to sit down just in case it escalates. Oh. The producer can't be with us today, as he's got an appointment to see the dentist. He said he likes the taste of latex digits inserted into his mouth deep enough to tickle his tonsils. But he's most looking forward to being numbed in the orifice by a small prick, and then getting a good drilling and filling by someone in a white coat. And then he's off to the dentist's. So while he lays back and tries not to scream, let's play a game. This week, we're playing Foley Folly. Our tribute to the teams who bring film and TV alive with sound effects. From the crispy crunch of walking in snow to the crispy crunch of bones being broken, the one single quality demanded of those talented people is absolute realism. Our version differs in just one way. This one is for Mike to play, so flounce over to our special sound effects studio, please, while I tell our lovely viewers what you are subjecting me to. Okay, don't flounce. Flounce, I everybody. don't know how to... Flounce. Oh, all Mike has to do is accurately reproduce the noises indicated by a random sound generator. Are you ready? I am indeed. Let's have the first sound effect. The sound effect. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Is it the sound of you douching in the shower? No, that's more of a... <laughs> oh, okay. Um... Is that a different noise? <laughs> Is it a coffee maker? No. Oh. Is it from a film? No, it's, it's a, just a sound. Just a random a, sound. If you were trying to look at um, naughty pictures on the internet in the late oh. 90s. Oh. Is it the sound of your mum running upstairs and you trying to crack one off before she gets in the room looking at porn? Now, what is that called, Lee? Danger Mike. It is called Danger Mike. Well done, you. You're right. But that's not what I'm it's doing. It's not what here. it is. No. Is it. Is it the sound that your uh, modem makes made? It was indeed doing the sound of a dial modem. Dial-up modem. Oh. Well done, you. Well done, me. Yeah. Let's have another one, then, with your oral powers. My oral powers are second to none. 
Um, so you ready for this one? I am. Okay. Any cockadoo! Any cockadoo too! Any cockadoo? What animal makes that noise? You in the morning when you open your window. Greeting the greeting the day. Shouting, get in me now. Any cockle do So I'm a farmyard animal. Okay. Any cockle do Any cockle do too Are you a bantam hen? Bantam hen? I don't know. What's a bantam hen? I don't know. Um are you a cockerel? I'm, I'm close to a cockerel. Any cockle do too! Any cockle do too? Any cockle do also! <laughs> no, I've got a buzz. No. Two gay, gay cockerels. Oh, I did not get that. No, you didn't. No. Did not no. understand that one. Okay. Next one, please. Next one. Oh, Marjorie. Oh, Marjorie. Ow! That's put. Ow! That's. Ow! 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 Oh, Marjorie! Ow! Oh, Marjorie! Ow! Is it? Are they not using lube? No, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. I don't know, it's hard, <laughs> this one. You're, you're right, it's porcupines making love. Oh! Now it makes sense. Not really. Ow! Marjorie? That's his wife's name. Whatever, let's move <laughs> on. <laughs> okay. Okay, are you ready? I don't know, but I very much enjoyed seeing you do it. <laughs> I was corn blowing in the wind. Oh! <laughs> God, this is a random game. <laughs> I, was, I was making the noise of corn blowing in the wind. Yes. You were, Mike, you were. Let, let's have another one that I can guess. <laughs> okay. Order, 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 order. How does he say it? Order, order. Is it the Speaker of the House of Lords shouting at the Gimboids to be quiet? No. Oh. Close. Close. Order, order. I'll give my right honourable gentleman a hand job, but I'm a Conservative, so I can't be caught doing it. Is it Boris Johnson? No, not quite. It's where he works, apparently. It's, it's Snappy Snaps. No, that was, um, <laughs> that was George Mike. Michael. He didn't work there, he just crashed into it. Yeah. Um, is it the House of Parliament? It's the House of Commons, yes. Oh! And, and just to be clear, I don't know whether they do give hand jobs in Conservative or Labour. It's a link like fingering. Definitely doing the Lib Dems. Right. Is it a circus? It is the circus, yeah. <laughs> Thank God I got one straight away. Okay, the next one. Is it a firework? No. Because that would quite clearly be... Ooh. Oh, OK. Um, can you do it again, please? OK. Yay! Is it when they christen a, a boat and they smash... Close. Oh, close. close. Drop anchor. No, 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 okay. Uncorking champagne. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. You know, e e e e. Oh. Yay. Yeah. Are we Everybody at home got that one. Yeah, they did. 
They've all switched off now. Yeah. Are you ready for this one? Oh, I am. Okay. <laughs> A cow being sick. A cow being sick, correct. <laughs> A literal, I'm very good at. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Meh. A sheep with a cold. A sheep with a cold. More yeah. of these, more of these ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the last this is one. The last then. one. Okay, thank God. Do 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 do. Me me. What? Do 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 do. Me me. Something to do with sheep. Yes. What's the theme tune? Do 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 do. Dun dun. Master sheep. Master yeah, so sheep two, on mastermind. Two sheep on mastermind. Oh. Yeah. Well, that just happened in the same time space continuum as me. And happening next is Lee with the showbiz news. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we talk to the man who once had a stroke. Until the vicar told him to put it away, it's Lee in the showbiz news. We generally don't like jizz on the altar. Shall we have, shall we have, shall we have some showbiz, showbiz news? Showbiz. Right, well, we're barely, th we're barely into the year. Can, what, what, how are we? Are we kind we're of over like, a quarter. Over a quarter way through. But it's still very early to be thinking about Christmas, isn't it? No. I'm getting, I'm getting ready for Christmas in July. Oh, okay. Because I'm doing that this year because I couldn't have Christmas this shit last okay. year. Okay, so. okay. Well, just pretend that you've said, yes, it's too early, Lee. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's too early, Lee. How outrageous is it to be thinking about Christmas at this point of the time? Oh, well, Netflix don't think so. No. Oh, I, they, I, I they don't think. <laughs> they don't think. They have, they have announced that they are going to be shooting a gay Christmas rom-com. Mm. for Christmas, surprisingly, in the title. It's going to be called Single All The Way. Do you see oh. what they did? You see what they did there? Yeah, they've, they've um, mocked me with the name of a show. <laughs> so it's going to be a gay Christmas-themed romantic comedy, mm. right? And it's starring Ugly Betty's Michael Urey. Gentleman in the white top is yeah. Michael Urey. He was in Ugly Betty. Mm -hmm. His co-stars are going to be Philemon Chambers. He's the guy in the middle. Mm -hmm. He's he's a relative newcomer to Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Not been in a huge amount of stuff. And then the guy in the blue um, jumper, he's called Luke McFarlane. So he, he's he been in lots of Hallmark films. Mm -hmm. the, all three are homosexualists. Oh, good. So that's good. It, it's also going to star film legends Jennifer Coolidge. Oh. Jennifer Coolidge. I've got, that's my impression. That's quite good. So, Jennifer Co What? I'm Jennifer Coolidge. That's a good impression. Okay. So, she was in American Pie and in loads of funny things. Mm -hmm. And Kathy Najimy, who... Hocus Pocus. One of the witches in Hocus Pocus. Um, Michael Urie has commented and said, isn't that some kind of gay Christmas miracle? All of those people together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, the story behind it is, is that Peter... Is a perpetually single man whose best friend poses as his boyfriend just as his mum sets him up with a, an amazing blind date. Okay. With, and he's a trainer. Mum's date is a trainer, personal trainer. Personal trainer, right, yeah. not like a shoe. No, no. <laughs> just like a... Like just because there are people that are into that. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's exciting because it's... We've had a couple of years where we've had some really good festive LGBTQ Christmas themed films. Mm -hmm. So um, last year we had the Kirsten Stewart Happiest Season. I didn't watch that. No, how did I? And then there was Jonathan Bennett who was in The, the Christmas House. Ooh. Oh. The Christmas House? The Christmas House. Never heard of it. No, I haven't. No, I, I think I saw a little bit of that one. I'm not big on Christmas films. Me neither. No. So that's something exciting to watch. That's exciting. At Christmas, yeah, mm. yeah. Not that far off, a couple of months. Yeah, a couple of months. It'll be it'll be here before we know it. Exactly. I've already bought your Christmas present. Have you? No. Next bit of showbiz oh. news. Are you a, are you a Demi Lovato fan? Ooh, no. 
Oh no. Oh, do you not like a little bit of what's wrong with being, what's wrong with being confident? Mm-hmm. No? Is that not ringing any bells? That's not. Cool for the summer. Okay. Um, anyway. I know who Demi Lovato is. I have no were, idea what's going on of, There was two of her hit songs. Were they? Yeah. I'll be murdered by my vocals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So she's had a really tough couple of years. Yeah. She's, you know, been in rehab. There was the whole kind of stuff around her taking an overdose and nearly, nearly lost her life. Um, but things are looking up. Mm-hmm. She's just released a new album. There's a documentary on YouTube that's doing really, really well for her. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got a picture of her here with pink hair. Oh. Looking good. Mm-hmm. We've got a picture of her album, her new album. Um, that doesn't have pink hair. That doesn't have pink hair. Mm-hmm. I'm getting a bit of share vibes from that photograph. Share vibes? Yeah. You may should say the word share. Oh. So, okay. No, I didn't. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> and then we've so got... Close. So close. <laughs> and we've got a picture of the documentary. Mm-hmm. Um, Dancing with the Devil. It's actually quite good. I've watched some of it, and it's really sad. Um, but she's kind of coming out of all that now, and she's recently been on a podcast, and um, she was chatting. They were just chatting about life and you know plans for the future, and um, she's been previously engaged um, to a, to a guy called Max Elkrick. Um, not Spielman. But, not Spielman. No, no. Um, <laughs> See, you throw me off my track now. By so that Matt Spielman, it might have been his name. No, it wasn't. Okay. Um, so she, they got onto the, the topic of kind of her sexuality okay. and how she considers herself quite fluid. Mm-hmm. So she's, so what she basically said is that she doesn't know if she's going to end up with a guy. She can't really see herself having kids. She can't really see herself getting pregnant, or whether you know. So she's what she's saying is that she's fluid now. And part of that reason is because in her early career, she was really, really closeted. Mm-hmm. Um, they, they, you know, they didn't, you know, she started off as a Disney star and mm-hmm. they weren't having any of that. So she was really, really, really kind of stuck in, in, in a, she had to be an image. Yeah. yeah. Um, but what she says is that she's, she said, I heard someone call LGBTQIA plus community the alphabet mafia. And she was like, that's it. That's what I'm going to with. So that's what she's going with. She's, she's, she's part of the Alphabet Mafia. She spoke a little bit about how she kind of knew mm-hmm. that she kind of was attracted to, to both men and, fe- uh, men and women when she watched Cruel Intentions and that kiss between Sarah Michelle Gellar and um, Selma Blair. Mm-hmm. We've got a picture here of them pashing off. Um, and that's she actually was... my second favourite movie of all time. Is it? Brian mm-hmm. oh. Philippe's bottom. What more do you need? He, his bottom is it? She yeah. she she kind of said she said oh I like that, um, but she felt a lot of shame because she grew up in Texas as a Christian, mm-hmm. and you know it was all frowned upon. So th- great for her, perhaps less so great is the gift that one of her celebrity chums sent her, Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh, did she send her a candle of her vag? She did. So Gwyneth, Gwyneth Paltrow. Stop. So she so she sent her like um, a congratulatory package of stuff. So there was a bottle of Necessaire sex gel, a Goop double sided vibrator, because that's the name of Gwyneth Paltrow's company, mm-hmm. um, and a candle that that said, "This smells like Demi's orgasm." We're not sure whether it was it was specifically made for Demi or whether she just stuck that label over one of her old badge candles. Or maybe it was made for Demi Moore. Could well be. Who knows? We don't know if she's replied no, but, with a thank you. Gwyneth, please stop sending people yeah. candles of your vagina. Stop trying to make badge candles a thing. Let's move on. Current celebrity news there is proper current. Okay. Rod Stewart. <laughs> Oh, he's revealed the secret between behind his famous hairdo. So, something about Barry. Kind of. Slapping your hand. So he's famous for that kind of big spike. And I thought it was a wig, to be honest. I thought he was kind of down, going down the Elton John route because it never really changed. We've got a picture of old Rod here, <laughs> not his old Rod. No, no, this is a picture of this is a picture of Rod now. <laughs> picture of an old Rod. <laughs> And that's a picture of a young Rod. (laughs) 
Not much difference. Um, back in the day, he had a really unique way of creating that um, spiky do. Okay. So he used to get mayonnaise, mm -hmm. not his own made mayonnaise. Oh, right. Not yeah, his yeah, man's mayonnaise. That's the last way we go with this, yeah. No, no. Um, and he used to rub it in his hair, and he'd get a towel, and he'd, he'd blah, 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 like that, and then, poo, massive. Okay. Okay. And smelly. Smelly, yeah, yeah. But apparently hair experts have said that could be the secret as to why he's still got hair. Okay. Because they say it contains proteins that will make hair strong and prevent it from breaking. Okay. Well, or he doesn't have that hereditary thing about baldness. There is that as well. Shall we try it though, Mike? Yeah. We're gonna. I don't have any hair to do it with. Oh, you don't have any hair now. In a second you will. I'm not doing it on my back hair. No, no. One for you. And some mayonnaise. Hang on, you've spent money on this mayonnaise. This is actually a brand. It's a brand mayonnaise. Towel. <laughs> How much money are, you, are we paying you for you to get oh. brand so mayonnaise? So we've, we've got, we've got, if you, if you pop, pop your weave inside out. Yeah. You've got, ooh, right? So let's stick them on. You say Rod Stewart, I say Tina Turner. <laughs> what, Tina Turner being electrocuted? <laughs> Yeah, that's how she... What songs? If you think I'm... I look like a fat share from the, from the 80s. <laughs> I'm going to turn back time. So, let's... <laughs> I don't think you can get that much more spiky. So let's try it. Come on. So get your, get your mayonnaise. Blob of it in your hand. Come I'll, on, I'll Mike. I'll top of mayonnaise. This isn't working. Well, I'm not even putting it in. I'm already losing hair from this week. <sighs> It knows. It knows, yeah. Right, so get a bit of mayonnaise. Come on, Not coming out. Squeeze it out. Oh, oh there, there we go. go. Right. Mayonnaise. Rub it in your hands. Uh -huh. Get a good coating. Yeah, yeah. Put it in your wig. Get your towel. Give it a rub. <laughs> Let's... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> right, there we go. Oh. I think yours, your, I look like Dusty Springfield from that Pet Shop Boys video. <laughs> what have I, what have I, what have I done to deserve this? What have I done to deserve oh, this? Yeah. What have I done to deserve yeah. this? <laughs> anyway, with that useful tip, that's the end of the showbiz news. Thank you, Lee. Coming soon, we have a life lesson. But before that, we have Mike in the bars. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to go over to the man who, when he was a child, desperately wanted to be the Milky Bar Kid. But sadly, all he got was a finger of fudge. It's Mike with the buzz. There's actually five fingers. Well, four and a thumb. Oh. Anyway, um, I've been having a, a bit of a foople around the internet. A what? A foople. A foople? A foople. It means to look inquisitively. Does it? Yes. In words I've made up. Mm -hmm. um, to find some fun and interesting things. And I thought I'd start with, Lee, what's the weirdest thing you've ever kept? Oh, uh, there's many things, but I don't know if they're appropriate to... Once kept a jar of scabs. A jar of scabs? Whose scabs? My scabs. Your scabs. So you kept your own scabs? Yeah. Why? I just felt that I needed to. <laughs> you felt you needed to? <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you want to elaborate on that at all? <laughs> I think I'm just going to leave it up to the imagination of the viewers. Okay. So, like, yeah. So, okay. scabs. A jar of scabs. Scabs. Nim, 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 nim. <laughs> Now you're making them sound like you're going to eat them as a snack. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what, what, so, what are we going for here? Skin what are we... Pringles. Um, <laughs> this is skin story. Pringles. Skin Pringles. <laughs> <laughs> I'd buy those. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> um, Stacey L Solomon. Okay. Yes. I know where this is going because I read it. <laughs> Has kept her son's foreskin. 
it wasn't still attached to him, was it? No, because it's easy to keep something that's still attached to you. I'm still quite attached to mine, thank you very much. I kept mine for 38 years. When can I go to school, mummy, and come out of your purse? <laughs> Never. <laughs> so, yeah, after her son had had this little snippy snip when he was born, she kept it kept on foreskin in a box. <laughs> it's not as unusual as it sounds. Is it not? Parents do weird stuff. Um, and I know quite a lot of parents who have kept the umbilical cord okay. of the baby when it kind of drops off mm. in like a little box and stuff. Okay. Gross. Little bits of body parts. Yeah, I do, teeth, baby teeth, hair, you know, like yeah. locks of hair. I, mean, I, I get a lock of hair from when you were a baby. I mm. get that. Mm. Not quite sure why you would want to keep a foreskin. There's no reason. We've no answer really. to that. There's no, re- there's no answer. No answer. That's to the that. problem. I mean, she's she, not she, said. She says, "Yes, I have kept I have. it." So, I mean, Stacey Sullivan is Jewish, so her kids will be circumcised anyway. I didn't think there's an option of to say, "Would you like it afterwards?" I'll just pop it in there. Um, well, it came about because she was she was decluttering, and she said she had that foreskin drawer. She had yeah, the foreskin drawer. <laughs> she's a, in in the One skin, bits of my, <laughs> bits of my child I've kept over the years. Um, her, her toenail collection is quite impressive. Ooh. Mm. Um, but she was saying that she, when she was getting rid of the stuff, right, she's got a deep emotional attachment to all the things she's hoarded. The foreskin. She keep a deep emotional attachment and to her son's foreskin. Well, she didn't have to chop it off in the first place. She could have still had it. And then she could have appreciated it. Oh my God, where was I going with that? I that very not... bespoke videos there. Very <laughs> bespoke videos. Um, well, do you know what? He may reach a point where he wants it back. And he's got it there, hasn't he? He's <laughs> not going to do too much good to it. It's not like he can glue it back on. Can I dehydrate them? Like mushrooms. <laughs> Rehydrate them. <laughs> <laughs> Rehydrate them in a, in, a, in, a, <laughs> in a cup of soup. <laughs> cup of hot water. <laughs> Boy, foreskin. Who knows? Um, most people, no. But moving on. Please. To something a little less graphic. Hmm. I say that. Um, and this is some sad news, because I like to, to mix the comedy with the sadness. And this is the sad news that a, a, a vicar has died. Oh. After choking to death on midget gems. So who has bet for comic relief that he wouldn't be able to eat his own body weight in midget gems? Okay. Right, so it's just over five stone. Okay. Right. Um, and so he said, you know, it's for comic relief. I'll have a go. And he tried. And... Um, Unfortunately, he ate a lot. He then choked and ended up dying because of it, which is very sad. It is very sad. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, the, the whole the town are very upset that they've lost the vicar. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. I just think it's a really sad story. It is a really sad story. Mm. Yeah. I prefer wine gums. Mm-hmm. Um, what they have said is that all of pledge money for the vicar have still paid out, even though he didn't actually achieve the actual outcome. And if you have something to show us, oh, and Gladys from Gwynedd, please stop sending us things from Lemon Party. Tag us with at the Cud TV on all of your usual social media services and or platforms. And that brings us to the story of the week. Lee, how do you like a cup of tea? I don't have cups of tea. Why not? The wrong answer. <laughs> I'm not mass- I'm not a massive cup of tea fan. Well, tough. Would you like a cup of tea? Do you want me to say yes? Yes. Oh, Mike. Otherwise, the story of the week is going to be, Lee doesn't like tea, so we're not doing it. <laughs> oh, Mike, I'd kill for a brew. Kill for a brew and a biscuit. Oh. And a biscuit. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, because I'm nice to you, mm. I have got... I, I, the accoutrement for making a brew. Have you? Oh, Have you yes. got a little tea party little going t- on down there? A little tea party. So there's your, there's your tea bag. So you need to, you need to get well, it. I can't reach. It's far away. Thank you. <laughs> Tiny there's, arms. There's some hot water for you. I'm not going to throw that across the desk because it's dangerous. And there's some milk. Oh, full fat. That's a treat. Oh, you've got to treat yourself. Okay. Now, how would you make your brew? How would I make my brew? Well, I'd put I'd put tea bag in, cup mm-hmm. or mug, and then I'd put me... Don't do off. that. Don't do that. That's wrong. No, it's not. It is. So a professor 
um, from, from um, England has said, adding milk before water improves the flavour of the tea. Okay. Yeah. How much is he getting paid? To, well, he's to a professor, better. so he's, he, he's just there. He gets paid for being at work. Just gets paid there. Yeah, and he does his own research, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Would you like to try it and see if it works? Yeah, Mike, I'd love to. Good. So I've got my stuff. So you need to put your milk in with your tea bag first. Okay. Okay. So it goes the tea bag into the milk. It's it's, it's, it's fresh. It's, it is fresh. It's from the cow this very day. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then you add your milk, uh, your water even. Okay. On top. So you've got your tea bag in your milk. Got my tea bag. Here's oh. your biscuit. Oh, thank you. Generous. Okay. Yeah. Just the one. Um, so that goes in there. That goes in there, then I mush it with... Yeah. And apparently that's it's not that's... very nice looking. No, it takes a while, apparently, oh, for what? it to brew up. You just got to wait for it. You just got to wait for it. Okay. So I'm going to do mine. So I put water in with my tea bag, and... Um... Oh, mine's, no. mine's frothing over. What the holy Christ is that, Mike? That, that tells you that you shouldn't be doing this, quite clearly. Oh, mine didn't do that, though. Yours didn't even brew up. No. They both look anemic as bros, to be fair. I think he needs to get in the bin. I, I think getting in the bin is what... Well. Yeah. You're not even had your biscuit. Oh. But yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Lee's on a diet eating his biscuit, yum, obviously. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum. Mm, mm. yeah. So yeah, um, that's all from the buzz this week. Wow. <sighs> that's another ten minutes I won't be getting back. I'm going to add these all up and then bill you. Um, coming up... We have a life lesson. Don't go anywhere. I'll pay you double what we already do. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cod. And now it's time for us to help you while away the winter blues in the middle of spring. It's this week's... Life Lessons. So this week, I thought we'd, we'd have a bit of a challenge. Oh! Because I know you like to go head to head with me. <laughs> I do indeed. Mm, it's a challenge. Mm -hmm. right. um, so here we have some Lego. Oh, Fogo. Fogo? Yes. Fogo. It's not the real Lego. No, it's this is Lego. Lego. Compatible yeah. with other brands of Lego. Of, of Lego. Building blocks. Building blocks, yeah. yes. Um, because too cheap to buy Lego. Yeah. It's expensive. It is. Um, so, so we have two types of of, of Fogo, as you would like to call it. Yep. yep. We have yep. a, a yep. dragon and, yeah. and a little castle. Oh, I would like the castle, would please, really? Mike. Yeah. Oh, okay. So th there you go, then. There's, there's yours. Oh, you shit. <laughs> you would like the castle, but you've got the dragon. Okay. So all we have to do is open it up, and, and you may remove your pieces. Okay. And we just have to build. The, the the thing within a short time. Oh. Okay. So we have until the buzzer. Till the buzzer. It's pressure. Can we take the Lego out of the packet first? Um, no, you, you can take the, the Lego out of the packet when the timer starts. Oh, I get really stressed on these do. situations. Um, so are you ready? Born ready. Okay. Three, two, one, go. I can't get in the bag. You can't get into the bag? Well, that sounds like a new issue, that is. Can't, literally can't. Oh. So, yeah. do, you, do you play Lego often? I enjoy... Um, I enjoy a, a bit of Lego. Do you really? <laughs> well, I did when I was a child. All right, so when was the last time you played Lego? Well... Um, I, I, I'm, uh, I don't know. 
You don't know? Well, that's useful. I don't know. This is really complicated. Is it? Yeah. Mine's not exactly easy. I don't know how to find the bits. You, you look for the bits that look like the bits you need. Now, do I do I have to follow the instructions? Yes. Oh, okay. Because otherwise, that's not doing doing it as, as it's intended. I it? I get a bit of rage with Lego. Hmm? I get a I get rage with Lego. Get in a rage with Lego. Yeah, because you you make them. See, I can't even find the. I can't even find. You're about to swear there, weren't you? <laughs> I can't even find the bits. The first bits. Can you not? No. No, oh, that's a shame for you. I'm doing all right here. Well, were you a Lego child? I was a Lego child. As opposed to a falsetto child. Huh? I literally, I literally, this is why I'm getting angry, because the picture <laughs> yeah. isn't what's in front of me. The picture of what the things that I need, I yeah. haven't got. Well, you have got them. You just haven't worked out what they are yet. Oh. It's still not going to work, is it? I'm dropping bits. So, were you, were you a child that enjoyed Lego? Yeah, yeah, I loved Lego. The whole family still play Lego, so we've got um, younger nie nieces and nephews and things. And when they get Lego, we all play it. And then what do you do? What do you do once it's been made? Do you keep it and display it? No, I destroy it. You destroy it. Destroy it so you can make it again. Oh, okay. My nieces, mm -hmm. when they were little, they yeah. had girl Lego. I mean, you're not supposed to have boy I, boys I, toys yeah. and girl toys, but they did. I they don't had, like it. Oh, why, Mike? It's pretty. No, it shouldn't be girl Lego. It should be yeah, Lego. Just be Lego. Yeah. Yeah. But it was called. They were called Lego Friends, and it was all pink and purple. Yeah. And pretty, and they'd like have like shops and stuff like that. I thought you said shots. Then. <laughs> I like that. The, the unicorn Lego. Yeah. yeah. I, I I never I was never somebody who um liked oh, liked um you know if they go like, oh like we've got you a spaceship. Mm. I'd be like oh we're, we're just done on opening uh, collecting the packs and never opening them though. Well, it's not meeting its destiny, is it, Mike? Meeting its destiny. No, it's just, it's just, it's forever just trapped in plastic. It's, it's, it, you know, it never trapped in plastic. Trapped in plastic. Caught in, in a trap. No. <laughs> I think you know, if people like to collect things, mm. then buy two, one that you never open, which is still not fulfilling its destiny. But then, for you know, I don't know. Oh shh. Sugar. Yeah. Um, I've given up following the instructions. Have you really? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> There's a surprise. There's a shocker. Um, because, oh, I've got a little person. You've got a little person? I think I've got a little person. Have you got a little person? I've got my little person. Um, I did go. So, yeah. Before the Rona. Before the Rona. I went to um, an exhibition. The, the Lego exhibition? Yes. Me too. Did you enjoy? I did. Did you have any photos? I, I did. Um, they, were, they were very impressive. Very mm. impressive um, models. Um, but that kind of sort of naughty child in me wanted to, like, pull, like, bits, bits off. off. Yeah. yeah. You see, I was, I was a little bit tipsy when I went round. Oh, OK. Um, as you can probably see from some of my pictures. Oh. The one where you've got, like, a Lego man in your mouth. Um, did um, you play in the Lego pit at the end? No, I, germs. I, no, I played in that. No. I was I had children coming round going, oh, yay, Lego, and I was full on growling at them. <laughs> so it's like going, they're going, oh, no, I need that block. And I was like... Mm. So, yeah. I don't think, I don't think I've done very... Keeps falling off! <laughs> well, you can't blame the Lego for that. Stupid Lego. Because it's not Lego. You see, if I had about four days... I would be able to do it, but I haven't. So I'm, 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 I'm getting along quite well with the turret. Okay. Do you think they can? Do you think? Do you think that you can make rude things? Well, you can make rude yes. things out of Lego. That's what I made in the Lego museum. I made a giant penis, and it was impressive. Was it? Was it? Was it authentically coloured, or did you go multicoloured? Oh, it was multicoloured. Nice. Nice. And it, it was about 
13, 14 inches long. Oh, what a treat. And and then squared. So it'd be pointy and jaggedy and hurt. Do you think, do you think that they, do you think that people, you know, because you're you're king of buzz and there's uh -huh. many filthy stories you brought to us. Yeah. Um, do you think anyone's ever diddled themselves with a Lego love toy? Probably. Mm. Oh no, I haven't. You, you haven't? Oh, I haven't. Okay. Well, thanks Cause, for... Because once again, hurty, pointy, jaggedy. No. Yeah. No, no one wants that. You'd think they would make one though, wouldn't you? <laughs> Lego, no. if you're watching. Will you please make a sex toy? Lego dildo. Niche market. Literally corded everything. There is, apparently there is more Lego mm. in the world mm -hmm. than there are human beings. Yeah. That's an easy that one. That is an amazing fact. That's an amazing fact. They also produce the most tyres in the world. Yeah, we've talked about this before, haven't we? We have, a long yeah. time ago. You, if, you, if you put all the Lego in the world together... You You'll have reach, a lot of Lego. You can, reach, <laughs> <laughs> you can reach the moon. Is that true or is that just something you're, you're making up? No, it's true. Mm. Actual facts yeah. or something that Lee's made up? No, it's actual fact that I may have made up. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm doing this wrong now. So you're putting me off, you. I, I, I've given up now. I've created, I've created up? something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cover it up till, till the reveal, because I think you'll be quite pleasantly surprised. <laughs> oh, right, okay. <laughs> so this is what it should look like for mine. Okay. Oh, you've done quite well. I can I get the castle vibes. Yeah, castle vibes. Yeah. Mm. Well, well done. Yeah. Well done. This is what mine should look like, like a dragon. What of mine? Right. Okay. So you've got a, a man on a surfboard. Look, dragon teeth. <laughs> Artic articulation. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> It's a very small tail. <laughs> it's a baby dragon, and he's got fire shoes. Okay. It's all about the imagination, Mike. Well, so, yeah. So, so we're we declaring that a tie. I, you know, you. I'm gonna get. I would give you a prize for most looking like it is. Mm -hmm. I would give me a prize for imagination and creation. Okay. Let's Hey, anyway. <clears throat> That's almost the end of the show for this week. But like a twiglet you have just found between the sofa cushions and that moment of, can I eat this? When you know you will, we have just enough time to remind you we are at the Cud TV on social media, the TV for our website. And while you're on the website, have a look at the support section for exclusive clips, including outtakes. Stay safe. I will see you next time. Bye.